Greetings to my team of 144, all starseeds, love workers, and way shores. It is 109-2019, October 9th, 2019. It's a 99 portal and a 1919 portal, which is 1010, which we are coming into fully. This 1010 portal, it's a Galactivation massive portal opening, which will be tomorrow on 1010. Now I've been contacted by several divine goddess energies that are holding events tomorrow. It's also a big day. Today is Kin 89, a big day on the Mayan calendar. So we have a lot to cover today. So I'm going to get right into this. I'm going to try to keep it all together and keep it flowing. Our sacred sister, Dina Mahi, with Divine Realm Healing, has an event tomorrow if you're in the Lakewood, Colorado area from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. I put a page on my website. If you go to primedisclosure.com forward slash Dina, D-I-N-A, you can learn more about this event tomorrow on the 1010. And this is in Lakewood, Colorado. I was also contacted by our divine sister of the light, Rhea Aurora Athena Ash, for a global meditation tomorrow, 1010. And this is going on all day throughout the day, all over the realm. So for today's beginning meditation, we'll go through this meditation for the Tachyon Light Codes, 1010 Heart Portal Opening, the 1010 Meditation, Planetary Merkaba Healing. So from Rhea, Aurora, Athena, Ash, Global Meditation, Planetary Merkaba, needed on the 1010 the planet and her inhabitants are about to receive extreme amounts of intense and powerful tachyon light particles. These are light codes, divine quantum fields of imaginary mass from the tachyonic field operating in a triple helix out of our galactic center. One would call this Christ light. These waves of light codes will trickle down into the planet's quantum Merkaba starting on the 1010. There will be huge shifts at the heart level as these incoming waves of light and frequency codes activate waves of awakening in the coming months, pushing the momentum for moving into position 4 d around the winter solstice moving into 2020. So it is crucial all light workers and light warriors join in unison for a meditation. And again, the 1221 codes have been coming through all day. Before we get into this meditation, the 99 and the 999s are coming through. The 1010, of course. 1221. So as we head into this 1010 portal, which will bring us to the full moon on 1013. Tomorrow, 1010, it is my nephew and niece's birthday. One will be 10, the other 13. The, the boy, Noah, 10 and 1010. The divine angelic female 13 on the 1010, which will lead us to the full moon on the 1013. Today driving home, the moon was looking glorious. Today it was a perfectly blue, perfectly cloudless sky all day long. Not one cloud in the sky. It was almost surreal around here. And as I was driving home, the glorious moon, that divine feminine, as I was coming into this opening and seeing the glorious light of the divine moon, this airplane was flying up, and exactly when it crossed through the moon, it was like the arrow, Cupid's arrow, going through the heart, activating the love codes. I felt it in my heart center, which expanded out to the ends of the universe. So these 1010 10 portals will lead to the 1111, and then into the 1212 Galactivation portal, and it will be a 121212, 12, 12 December 12th. 2019 will be the 12th, so it'll be a massive, divine, feminine, blissful activation, which will lead us to the solstice, the final solstice of the old false matrix, the 3D, the final omega, we call the omega, the final point, as we merge fully with that center of the vortex, the eye of the great spirit, the great mystery, on the solstice, sun stillness, the stillness of the sun, where it will rise on the Tropic of Capricorn, December 21st, that will lead us into the new 
vision, the new earth in 2020. So 1010 is going to lead us to the 2020 perfect vision. So in these meditations, we will go through the meditation for the 1010 planetary Merkaba healing. So we, when we do our spiritual practices, our meditative practices, you could either sit cross-legged on the ground, on a cushion, on Mother Earth. You can sit half lotus, full lotus, cross-legged, or in a chair with the feet flat on the ground. In all meditations, it doesn't matter if it's Buddhist, Taoist, Hindu, whatever, we always have the spine gently straight. You want to, to open that central channel from the crown to the what we call the hoi yin, the perineum at the base of the spine between the legs, as the field, the electromagnetic field, the toroidal field, the Merkaba field flows through that center with a gently straight, it creates a, a perfect flow. We say chi flows smoothly, the chi, the energy that flows through your body with the spine gently straight, it opens up that central channel with no hindrance. And we breathe in and out the nose, especially with the qigong, the nagong practices, always in and out the nose. Fire breathing is through the mouth, the, the water paths of the divine feminine, in and out the nose. And we generally have you with the tip of the tongue lightly on the roof of the mouth, behind the teeth. So when we begin this meditation, you can do it now or after you listen, or you can pause the video after we go through this. It's a simple meditation. So what you want to do once you get into a comfortable position and close your eyes, go deep within, you want to breathe and center into your heart space. The heart space at the center of the chest, which would be like the heart chakra we call middle dantian in the Taoist arts. See all the other hearts on the planet and see and hold the intention of all our own Merkabas spinning with pure ascension light. Feel filled with the love, light codes flowing through the 1010 gate. Then, beloveds, connecting heart to heart with Gaia, envision, feel the planetary Merkaba, and all our Merkabas are spinning in perfect harmony unison at a mass velocity with the planetary Merkaba. And you could see this as the divine goddess Merkaba or the Merkaba of Gaia, planetary consciousness. And see this, the Merkaba spins as if they are dancing in oneness. See all this radiating, all the divine love light, these beautiful ascension codes of love, grace, unity, and upliftment throughout the planetary Merkaba. See and feel its light brimming, pure, and all distortions and negative energy dissolving into that pure white golden light. So you can practice anytime, practice this. I'll put a link below in the description for this meditation. And if you can't see or visualize this, just feel it, feel it in your heart center, feel your connection to all the fields. The Merkaba fields are the the electromagnetic field, the toroidal field that surrounds all beings, all life, and all realms. This is what holds our field together, and it is all connected. There is no, the separation programming has ended. We are uniting. We are in unity consciousness. So if you don't, if you can't visualize, you can look up, just do a Google search for Merkaba fields or Merkaba energy, just Merkaba to get a visualization. If not, just feel it. Feel the connection. Feel your energy field connecting with all b other beings, the animal kingdom, the human kingdom, the trees, Gaia herself, all beings in all realms. Just feel that connection. Feel yourself being lifted. Feel the bliss, the joy, the love of this divine connection to the best of our ability. And if at the least put your awareness in the heart center and just feel the energies coming in, feel the codes, feel the frequencies, the resonance, the vibration, whatever you want to call this energy, it does not matter. We're transcending all concepts and we're feeling our way into that bliss, into that harmony, into that peace, into the new earth. So when doing this practice, remember that when you use these meditations, there could be in the collective a confusing feeling. For example, 
You may have heart palpitations, shortness of breath. One may say a slight panic attack or equilibrium slightly off, feeling off kilter, emotional triggering. However, remember it is the powerful codes coming in. So embrace it into your heart space and center into your meridian. Clear your emotional fields to embrace this light as it is activating the remaining DNA RNA strands of full consciousness. As vibrationally we will be moving into three quarter spirit and one quarter matter equates to golden consciousness. So happy 1010 Galact Gateway Portal Opening of the Heart. And this is from Rhea, Aurora, Athena, Ash, Tar, Kari. So if you pause for a moment and feel the energies, you may feel it in your crown chakra opening. I'm feeling it. A slight tingling, a tingling at the crown, at the top of the head, the crown chakra opening. It might be a tingling and itching. I feel at the base of the skull and in the forehead, the whole, we call upper dantian, the spirit gate. In the center of the brain in the Taoist arts, we call the crystal palace. It's a crystalline structure, crystalline cave at the center of the brain, where the sacred pituitary and pineal glands pulsate in this cave, in this field, in this palace, the crystal palace. You can look that up to learn more about the crystal palace. But for a moment, if you want to pause and sit with this energy as the crown chakra is open, feel the joy, the bliss, the harmony, the love. And no matter what you feel in this, through these 1010, these Galactivation portals, just allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. Go into that feeling. Release, let go of anything that still may be in your field that we may call negative. Negative feelings, negative thoughts, negative energies. We're releasing all that. Opening up fully to these new earth codes, to these event codes. Now today from the goldenagegoddess.com, 1010 transmission, activation completed, wings repaired, highest peace negotiation activated, light incoming. Today's transmission from Laura Pleiadian, from the new divine humanity, cosmic being you, radiating now. As a cosmic divine being, your light is radiating now throughout the universe. As you consciously acknowledge this awareness, you tap into more of the reality of you that is this cosmic being, you radiating. Doing so, you become more conscious of the awareness of you that includes all desires, existences within it, including the form you are currently ha inhabiting in this world and parallel world versions of you now. To do so, more consciously activate your awareness to this expanded, larger-than-life, cosmic being you beyond this life version of you that is the cause of your existence and all of your existences this moment the universe radiating light cosmic being you is you and you the one aspect and form you are held within this connecting to the cosmic being light is connecting to your original light your divine ascended being is also held within this your cosmic being Letting go of all ideas of time, of concerns, of wants, needs, attachments, and fears, and consciously being our cosmic being, we suddenly realize that we have never been apart from any eternal aspect of ourselves. Realizing we are not separate from any state of consciousness, we become the actualization of all that we are eternally through our cosmic being, which includes abundance, love, health, and the realization that there is no death and there never was, activating your cosmic being now in the radiating light of the divine council of overseers. Receive now. And this is from Laura Pleiadian, the new divine humanity .com. So today for the Harmonic Convergence 2020, October 9th, 2019, peace through time. So we have a lot to cover here for this very auspicious day on the Mayan calendar. Much is coming through the field. October 9th, 2019 is a very special day in the history of world peace. It corresponds to the birthday of two artists who consecrated their lives and work for world peace. The musician John Lennon, 1940, and the painter Nicholas Warwick, 
1874, and that's R-O-E-R-I-C-H. I probably pronounced the name improperly. It might be Rorich or Rorick. Would be today 145 years old, and Lenin will be turning 79. Excuse me, a chopper just flew overhead. <laughs> they wanted to get some of this transmission here. Their invaluable legacy and indelible message of peace transcends even today all cultural traditions and is a source of inspiration to humans of all nationalities, creeds, and races. This year, the date has once again a very special significance as it coincides on the 260-day count with Kin 89, Spectral Moon 11 Moon, the completion of 12 Zolkins, 12 galactic spins, equals 12 times 260-day cycles, since the departure of Jose Arwellis, another visionary author, artist, and peace activist, the mastermind behind the Harmonic Convergence of 1987, who in January 2010 received the Rorich Medal of Peace for his work with the 13 Moon Calendar Change Peace Movement. Jose transcended one year later on the 23rd March 2011 in Australia, Dream Spell Kin 89, Maya Real Time 2 Emix. May this be a good opportunity to meditate on our role as stewards of peace on earth during these decisive times we are living. As earth wizards, we have the moral imagination and moral strength. We have this moral force and moral strength to change. If no one else will, we will. We have to understand that we are not helpless. The natural order is in harmony with itself. When we go to the natural time, we are going to the natural order. Since the natural order is harmony, natural time is art. When we live naturally, harmonic, harmonically in the natural time, we become living art. This is a process, but it is one that once we are in the right time, can happen very quickly. We can create positively much more quickly than we can destroy negatively, because it is all a condition of the mind. When we enter into the natural order of time, according to the 13 moon calendar, which is the practical application of the law of time, we will see that this calendar normalizes art as everyday life. We won't have to have specialized art galleries, museums, or anything like this because everyday life will become art. Time is art. And from Christina Papa Giorgio, Kin 89 Red Spectral Moon for Wednesday, October 9, 2019, a very, very powerful cleansing day. Spectral tone equals dissolve, release, and liberation. Double red moon power, purification in order to flow, double goddess power today. Allow the goddess to show you the way home. 9 October 2019, which comes out 9, 10, 3, equaling 9, 13, 13 equaling 4. So 9 is endings, closure, destiny, service, 13 is the goddess code, cosmos mystery. 4 is form, structure, foundation, earth, angelic. Kin 89 equals 17, 8. 8 plus 9, 17, meaning infinity and abundance. 17 equaling immortality and legacy. A very powerful day for liberation. A day of further cleansing and purification in order to build a new solid foundation of peace and abundance. Please take a moment to touch your heart and give gratitude and love. We are truly blessed here on earth in these evolutionary times. The, today is the tone of creation. Spectral is the 11th tone of creation. It operates in the emotional realm, and its actions are that of dissolving, releasing, and liberating. This is a very powerful opportunity to release the past and move forward fearlessly free from obstructions. The spectral action together with the four and eight codes will dissolve all impediments to you finally claiming your true power and abundance. Wiping the slate clean, you can now build a new foundation of solid abundance. Tone 11 symbolizes a gateway and polarity, inviting you to step through into a new world filled with joy and unlimited prosperity. What are you waiting for? Hop to it.
Divine blessings for your final liberation and finding your goddess flow. Today from the Tolkien Times, the red spectral moon. Spectral is the name for the number 11, and its keywords are liberation, release, and dissolve. The 11th day is always in opposition to the wave spell energy. So as we are in the blue storm wave spell, and red moon is the challenge of the blue storm, in a sense we are liberated from the wave spell energy for one day. The number 11 releases and frees us and liberation feels pretty good. Today is red moon which represents purify, flow, and universal water. The red moon has huge influence on the tides of the oceans and the tides of time. We are undeniably affected by the moon. It is foolish to try like King Canute to stop the tide. No one has such power and so our only option is to surrender and go with the flow. This fits perfectly with the number 11 energy in complete contrast to the crazy blue storm wave spell agenda. Today is the calmness in the eye of the storm. Be still, relax, and let go. There is nothing you can do about it anyways. Today's guide is red moon, so a double dose of chilling out is the order of the day. From Dream Spell Journey by Volum Votan and Balonik. Never forget, children of the day of truth, all is number. God is a number, God is an all. That's from the Telectinon Gospel of Pakal Votan by Jose and Lloydine R. Willis. Kin 89, Red Spectral Moon, contains deep prophetic meanings. These are prophecies coming to fruition, being manifest in the field, into all timelines. The Kin 89 is coded 9.11, seal 9, tone 11, which refers to the 9-11 date of the Twin Towers attack. Kin 89 is also coded 19.11, wave spell of the seal 19, tone 11, which refers to the 19.11-1911 code of the 1919 crystal matrix that contains an outer matrix of 19 times 19 and an inner matrix of 11 times 11. Kin 89 opens the dream spell Harmonic 23, which refers to Telectinon Unit 23 of the Lover's Reunion, Heaven on Earth. This unit marks the exit of the Warrior Cube, the triumph over the corruption of Babylon, which is very symbolic in many ways. And we're seeing this played out in world events going on right now. Kin 89 contains number... 8, 9, which exactly is the 11th Fibonacci number expressed as Fib 11 equal 89. 1 89th is a repeating decimal fraction with 44 characters. Exactly number 42, 22 plus 22, or 11 times 4, is coded by Kin 44, which marked the last 7th anniversary since Volume's ascension 23 March 2018, the first six digits of the Fibonacci sequence 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, are contained within the first six digits of the decimal equivalent of 189th, which appears as 0 0.011235, the first six of the 44 total digits. Precisely the second and third pairs of digits within the decimal equivalent of 189 are number 11, Volume's Kin 11, and number 23, Lover's Reunion, equaling Triumph of Warrior Test. Today's Kin 89 is synchronizing with the ancient Maya sign of 4 Akbal, equivalent to Dream Spell 43, 21 plus 22. Therefore, today's unified time is Kin 89 plus 43 equaling Kin 132, 132, which corresponds to the last Kin or Omega Kin of the Dream Spell Harmonic 33. Volume 11 plus Balonic 22 equal 33. Ayum Hunab Ku Ivam Maya E Maho in Lakek. Kin 89, spectral, red spectral moon. The mantra for the day, the code is, I dissolve in order to purify, releasing flow. I seal the process of universal water with the spectral tone of liberation. I am guided by my own power doubled. 
Harmonic 23, Magnetic Purpose, Formulate Free Will of Purpose. So there we have it, brothers and sisters of the light. Everything is perfect. Love everyone, hate no one. This is living from the heart, being a true, a real, human being. Humana, humanity, of the hue, of the light, of the electromagnetic spectrum, manifesting from the still white light, from the pure light of bliss, or the clear light of bliss, or what we call pure awareness, our true self, the original mind, the starseed blueprint. So thank you for joining us today. Have a wonderful, amazing, and powerful 1010 Galactivation Portal. Let us know in the comments below this video what you're experiencing through this massive portal opening and throughout the day what your experience is with this meditation as you connect deeply with the Merkaba field of Gaia and all life in this realm. And Gaia is the realm. We are the realm. It is us. There is no separation. The whole universe, all of eternity, exists within you. That is why the masters say the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of light is within you. And feel your way into the feelings are your guide. Go within into that feeling, whatever you feel in the vessel, in this temple, in this avatar, the rainbow bridge, as we merge heaven with earth through our love center, the center of our being, the still white magnetic light. Allow it to pull you in, merge fully with it, transcending all time, space, all separation into the one consciousness of pure light, pure bliss, pure awareness. So thank you all for joining me. Thank you everyone on this healing mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador, South America in the foothills of these sacred Andes mountains in our beloved Ecuador. We are looking at a place called Bilcabamba, spelled with a V. You can learn more about this on our website, primedisclosure.com. You can click Dao de Ecuador Healing Retreat Center at the top to learn more about this mission. We have now connected with a divine bro star and sister that are living in Bilcabamba. So more to come in the future than their future. Everything's accelerating, everything's speeding up, so time is of the essence. But no fear, no worries, always coming to manifestation in due time as we transcend all time and space through the zero-point energy of our infinite light, infinite life. If you'd like to join us in raising funds for this mission, we're using a CBD business it's you can join us at cbdpeaceoil.com the link's in the description below if you're already on our team we have 478 members you can join us on our uh, group on facebook just do a search for cbd team ecuador and send an invitation and we'll be in contact so have a beautiful and blessed day a powerful galactivation 1010 portal powerful meditation And as always, keep walking your path with heart, beautiful beings of light. I love you all. Namaste.